The central debate about Mary in the early days was about whether she ought to have this title, Theotokos in Greek, which means God bearer or mother of God. And there were, you know, smart and well-intentioned people that said, I love Mary, but that's going over the top to call her mother of God. Because, I mean, come on, God doesn't have a mother. To speak of, of God having a mother seems to make God a contingent being. Wouldn't it be better to say she's the Christ bearer, the mother of the humanity of Jesus, right? And so we honor her, of course, and she's wonderful, but don't call her Theotokos. Well, the Council of Ephesus, the Church 431, famously says, no, she ought to be called Theotokos, not because she's the mother of Jesus in his divine nature, but she's the mother of Jesus, who has two natures, divine and human. So Jesus can and should be called divine. Therefore, as the mother of Jesus, she's the mother of God. It was following that very interesting logic of incarnational language that the church said, no, we'll call her mother of God quite correctly, even as we acknowledge the truth of what the opponents are saying. But given the structure of that uh, logic, she can and should be called mother of God.